Welcome back to the Vandy Sports Podcast. I'm Joey Dwyer here to break down Vanderbilt's fourth 2023 commitment and one that really could be a nice late ad for Jerry Stackhouse and staff, one that has a ton of upside and really complements the other players in this class nicely. Jason Rivera Torres uh, from Virginia, also a movie star, a TV star, which we'll talk about in a bit, uh, committed to Vanderbilt this morning. And uh, maybe from rounds out there, 2023 class, maybe they had a guy like MJ Thomas as well to compliment him uh, and really fill out the class, make it five guys like it was in 2022. But Rivera Torres is a really nice add and one worth dissecting. He had offers from Texas A&M, but that was really all for the high major level. It was Texas A&M, FAU, San Diego, and uh, Vanderbilt, and then Fordham in his final five. So a guy who didn't really get maybe some of the interest that an Isaiah West got or a Noah Shelby got, it's a guy who did get some nice interest, but also is a little under the radar, is a little bit of a late riser. Vanderbilt takes advantage and uh, lands a guy with a lot of upside. It's a guy who will probably come in as maybe a 3 and D guy to start, but certainly has a lot more within his skill set than just a 3 and D guy. It's a guy who has a lot of athleticism, can switch defensively. I think he's best in the mid-range when he can go get a shot off one or two bounces. Uh, I think he's also athletic enough and agile enough to be a capable capable finisher around the rim. Um, just a guy who does a lot of good things and a guy who compliments the other players in this class nicely. Isaiah West is the ball handler. He's going to play the one or the two. JQ Roberts is going to be probably your three, four tweener, but he's not going to give you a whole lot from beyond the arc. And I think uh, Rivera Torres does have some developing to do as a shooter. I think right now he's better in the mid range. I don't know if he's better at finishing than hitting threes, but to be a complete three-level scorer and a, a true one. Three-point shooting may have to improve a little bit, but it's certainly at a capable level for the D1 level and capable enough level to where he could probably shoot 30-something percent from three and then get on the floor with his defense as well. So obviously a guy has a lot of upside, and I think the frame is really what stands out. He's six seven. It's a little skinny, but a lot of guys like that are skinny, and a lot of guys like that are really skilled. And Rivera Torres is also really skilled. He's a good athlete. He can get his own shot off the bounce, maybe not great in isolation as opposed to off of a closeout. But if you get him on a closeout, you don't really want to see what would happen to you in mid-range there. And I think there's just a lot to this guy's offensive skill set, and I don't think we want to write him off as a 3 and D guy yet. Obviously, Carter Lang's the big. West is the ball handler. Roberts is kind of that Swiss Army knife. Rivera Torres, I think, complements them nicely. Is kind of an off-the-ball piece who can develop into more as he grows into his body and uh, as he grows into his skill set a little bit more too, I think he will be a big test of how good the player development under Jerry Stackhouse actually is. Can they work on his body enough and work on his offensive skill set enough to make him into more than just a 3 and D guy? He's probably going to play the role maybe in his freshman and sophomore year, if you can see the floor of a Miles Studi, maybe not in terms of shooting 40% from three in non-conference play, but just in terms of spacing the floor, being that versatile defensive piece and giving teams a little bit different look uh, as opposed to maybe a guy like Colin Smith, who is probably around as good of a shooter as Rivera Torres. Maybe, I don't know, I couldn't tell you really who's better. I don't think we have enough sample size of Rivera Torres, but um, it's a guy who gives you a different look, gives you a little bit of a small ball lineup, um, but also could downshift to the three and also has some guard skills, could play the two, I don't know if you love him there, but and you also have other guards, but it's a guy who has versatility on the offensive end and is also agile enough, long enough, and athletic enough to switch on the defensive end. It's not only that he can switch, too. I don't know if he's a complete defender. I'm sure that'll have to be worked on a little bit, but he's really disruptive. It's a guy who can get in passing lanes. It's a guy who can get out and pressure a ball handler a little bit. I think it's a really nice defensive piece, especially for what Jerry Stackhouse wants to build is somewhat of an aggressive defense with athletes all over the floor. Rivera Torres fits that. It really fits what they want to do. He can play within the offensive system. Uh, you don't have to worry about him taking heat checks or taking bad shots. He's probably going to play within the flow of the offense. He's going to work a closeout here or there, but he's not going to dribble the air out of the ball. Um, and he's going to take good shots, and he's going to at least work on the defensive end. So there's a lot to like here. And really what I like as well is how, how he fits in the class. He's more similar to J.Q. Roberts than any other guy, but really isn't even – that similar to JQ Roberts. He's a good athlete, not as good as JQ is, but also has more of a perimeter game, um, maybe not as versatile, but also has more off the dribble scoring ability. And uh, I think will be more of a seamless fit, at least on the offensive end than Roberts is early on. And 
Roberts, I think, is the highest ceiling guy in this class just because of the athleticism and the size. But Vera Torres isn't much far behind him, I think. This is a class that maybe doesn't show you the dividends that some other classes will show you in their freshman year, but there's a lot of guys in this class with tremendously high ceilings, and I think probably higher ceilings than last year. Colin Smith, you knew was going to come in and play, but maybe he doesn't have the high ceiling of, I can't think of a good example, like a Scottie Pippen Jr., Darius Garland type player, obviously play different positions. These guys have skill, they have ceilings as to where they can be stars. And I don't know if they're going to be that right away. I don't know if those ceilings ever get hit, but J.Q. Roberts, with the athleticism and the size he has, and some of the off-the-dribble ability he's shown, if he can hit shots at a high enough level and really develop that off-the-dribble ability, he could be one of Vanderbilt's better players in a few years. Uh, same with Rivera Torres. If he can bulk up a little bit, if he can knock shots down from beyond the arc and then develop into a true three-level scorer over the years, he could be a really, really nice piece for this team. And I think there's a lot of untapped potential here and a lot that we might see in his junior year that we aren't seeing in his freshman year in terms of, wow, I didn't know he could make that play off the bounce. I didn't know he could get a stop like that in isolation. I think this is a guy who could really be a nice long-term piece for them and a guy who could maybe even help him next year if he can hit shots at a high enough level. I think that defense and just that activeness he has on the defensive end maybe could play. I think there's a lot of room to go there, but um, certainly some traits you like. And uh, I also think it's nice that he played in a high school system that allowed him to find a role and not just be the guy bringing the ball up the court, taking 30 shots a night. He knows how to play in an offense. He, I think his high school team was undefeated um, and he knows how to play a role. He knows how to play with other good players. And I think that's something that's taken for granted a little bit with guys that come to college. And uh, he certainly has that. There's some guys at Vanderbilt I've had recently that I'm not sure had that uh, to them. So it's really interesting to see that. And also there's an element to him to where it's a really interesting guy to have around. He's a guy who's a TV star. Uh, I think the show is called Spotlight Swagger. Um, obviously a basketball guy, not a TV guy. But uh, this is an interesting guy and uh, a guy I'll probably want to do a story on eventually. This would be a really interesting story to tell. Uh, it's a little selfish from that perspective, but this is a guy who is multifaceted. He has a GPA over four uh, and also is a TV star as well as a guy who's generally ranked around a three-star recruit. So really interesting get and one that has a ton of upside. You like the character, you like the physical traits, and uh, you like what you've seen in flashes from him. Not only as a scorer, not only as a defender, but also a playmaker. I think that's something that I need to touch on as well. I saw a whole thread on Twitter and uh, half of it was talking about how great of a playmaker he is. And I didn't really expect that. I hadn't seen that too much until I saw some clips, but uh, Rivera Torres is a guy who can read the floor at a really, really high level for a guy his size. And I think those guard skills do show up not only in terms of scoring and attacking closeouts and getting your own shot, but also in terms of, hey, I can go in the lane and I can find my big on the dunker's post for an easy layup. I can make a flashy pass here to kick it out for the driving kicks. And Jerry Stackhouse loves his driving kicks. So this is a guy who seems like a really exceptional fit for this program. And, uh, Maybe not a guy who's going to average 10 points a game as a freshman, but a guy who's going to come in um, and is going to have to compete for a role, uh, but seems ready to do that. Seems like he has a high motor and uh, can give you a lot uh, if properly developed. So really going to be interesting to see how this class plays out. Maybe Vanderbilt adds one more. Maybe Vanderbilt sticks here. I think this is one of maybe not his best recruiting class, but one of Jerry Stackhouse's better recruiting classes at Vanderbilt. Um, take that for what it's worth because his recruiting classes haven't been as great as a guy like Scott Drews were, but um, certainly something to build on here. And if you can stack classes of Colin Smith, Paul Lewis, and Lee Dort, and then add this class in, maybe two of these guys become contributors next year. You got something to work with here uh, in addition to some of the transfers you have, in addition to Ezra Mignon and Tyron Lawrence. Really interesting to see kind of how this plays out, uh, but Vanderbilt has taken some upside swings in this class. And uh, we'll see in a few years if they pay off. So thank you guys for watching. God bless. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day and uh, a great week. Peace.